York's team, which plays its home games amidst the Empire State Building, Hudson River and Statue of Liberty, was now immersed among the Parisian landmarks of the Eiffel Tower, River Seine, and the Arc de Triomphe. A trip by the Red Storm basketball program to the St. John's Paris campus served as a testament to the university's global influence and mission. The campus was amazing. You know, it's very, um, very interesting to find out that you can travel like thousands of miles away, go to Paris, and know that there's a St. John's campus over there. And it made me feel good. I had to like take pictures while I'm in Paris. So it was really fun. said St. Jamal, I felt like I was a little bit. <laughs> Not many people has opportunities like this. And just to be here, man, it's, it's a great experience and I'm very blessed to be here. Something that St. Vincent, St. Louis, and St. Catherine did was they used their own personal life and their way of doing things to influence people and to change the way things are done. And I'm gonna challenge you you're on the basketball team, it was up to you. And not just because you're St. Jamal, okay? <laughs> not, not just because, not because you're taller than Father Pat. People look up to you because you are something special. And I'm gonna challenge you to do that with your life. Find a way to influence people. Find a way to do something for the better. If you see something that isn't quite right, do what you can to change it. You know, that, that's my challenge. And I'm rooting for you, man. I hope you're going to win your game. That was a great story. She, I mean, um, all the stories she brought up, um, they were really inspiring. And just talking about St. Vincent, what great guy he was. And uh, she actually called me St. Jamal, which gave me a good feeling. And, uh, I was just honored and ready to go out there and ball. In the team's first game of the trip against local club team Rouen Basket, the total team effort guided the Red Storm to an 83-78 victory. Jamal Branch lit up the city of lights with a 10 out of 17 shooting performance for 22 points, while D'Angelo Harrison, he poured in 17 in his return action for St. John's. Oh man, it was, it was amazing to me. Um, I had a bald head, so you know, a fresh start, uh, so. It was, you know, it was, it was amazing just to have how the guys acted with me coming back. Coaching staff, you know, I thank everybody for, you know, letting me come back and stuff. So I was going crazy. Warm-ups, I think probably dunk more times in my life in the warm-up than I have probably in the rest of my whole life. So it was, was kind of, I was kind of hyped to play. <laughs> it definitely wasn't a normal game because, you know, we was in Europe and we was, you know, we, we was just so amped up, you know, we were so excited. I think we were really, I think that first half we were probably all over the place, you know, with the ball, turnovers and stuff, because we were just so amped and so excited to be, you know, over there. I had a great time because it was my first time ever playing overseas. So we had new balls, new um, arenas. It was a good place to be. Marco had all his friends and family there, so we had a nice little crowd. Most of my, my cousin and uncles and everybody, they were excited to come see me play and, and just see our team play. I knew three other guys on the other team I played against when I was in high school. And the coach, it was a national team, in French national team in 2000 in Sydney when they lost to the United States. It was like the starting point guard, so it was like, you know, I talked to him a little bit. It was exciting, and we finally beat them, so it was, was kind of cool. 